For, for uh, people maybe who aren't familiar with your game, can you kind of describe what you bring to a team and what you, what you bring to the floor? Uh, you know, I start, uh, start off with just, you know, I can stretch the floor with my shooting ability. Um, my defense, you know, I think I get a, a, a name for my shooting, but, you know, I'm a really good defender, uh, team defender off the ball. You know, uh, I, I can handle my own when it comes to uh, guarding individually. Uh, guards, but, you know, I'm really well guarding the low post. So, you know, on top of all that, I bring a lot of energy, get a lot of offensive rebounds, a lot of deflections. You know, I think, you know, just that comes from, you know, my college background. I'm two-time defensive player of the year there, and just, you know, I've kind of let that those things roll over to, you know, my career here in the NBA. How did, the, how did this come about when you were playing, playing for Mexico City? Uh, at the time, how did everything kind of come about? I mean, I was just, you know, working every day, day by day. You know, I didn't even know this was being, you know, put together. My agent, he kind of like, he's one of those guys who doesn't want to tell you until, you know, it's a done deal. So, you know, I went to shoot around and came back. And, you know, he had called me and told me, you know, the Pelicans had, you know, called me up. And it was just one of those things where I, you know, I just stay persistent, do the same things that the NBA team need me to do as well as, you know, down there on the G League. So just, you know, spread, spread, uh, spread the floor, play hard on defense, rebound, and, you know, just, you know, be myself. Is there any familiarity with, like, Brad Fertration or anybody on the on the roster or anything like that? Anybody just, like, a relationship you had before you came in? Uh, yeah, I knew uh, Devontae and B.I. before coming here. Uh, a Trey, uh, Trey was young, a little younger than me because we're all from, like, the North Carolina area. I think we're all about 30, 45 minutes from each other where we grew up and, you know, you know watched each other play. Uh, whether it's ball is life or you know just AAU uh, battles, so I, yeah, those guys. And, and just reading about um, Capitanis, you guys played in Fort Worth, right? Like you guys were in Fort Worth because of COVID. Well, I mean, what was that like? Just like, I mean, not really played in like you know the city that they're supposed to be anchored in. Oh uh, yeah, it was uh, it was quite the experience because all our games were away, so we practiced at TCU, and you know. I signed back a little bit before Halloween, and I probably spent a total of maybe a week there. So, you know, we're on the road for six, seven days at a time. So it's, the travel gets kind of brutal. Yeah. But uh, for the most part, you make the best of it. You know, you just, you know, you're down there to, you know, to build for something bigger. So you're able to push through as a guy that's been in the league for a couple of years and have had a lot of ups and downs, you know, you know that's the, the minimal of the things that you can go through and throughout this whole journey. Yeah. Was it kind of funny that... You end up having to meet New Orleans in Dallas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it kind of all worked out, to be honest, because uh, uh, it was only like a 30, 45 minute drive to meet the team. So, you know, it couldn't align any better. Appreciate it. Man.